Hasbro Interactive was a subsidiary of the multinational toy and board game company Hasbro Incorporated. It was established in 1995 to develop and publish video games based on the company's popular toy brands. Over the years, Hasbro Interactive no became known for creating successful titles like Monopoly, Scrabble, and Risk for personal computers and game consoles. The company was also responsible for the creation of the classic game diplomacy in digital form. Hasbro Interactive was eventually acquired by Infogame Entertainment in 2001, and the brand was retired in 2005. Despite its relatively short existence, Hasbro Interactive had a significant impact on the video game industry and remains a notable player in the history of video games. Hello, I'm Professor Retro, and this is What Happened. Like most things, we need to go back to the start. The year is 1995, and to compete with the video game industry, massive toy giant Hasbro Incorporated granted Hasbro Interactive to make games based off their toys. Now, by the time other developers have made successful games based off of Hasbro's hit board games like Scrabble and Monopoly, that was through licensing. So they thought it was high time they went into the video game industry themselves with, with their own games based on their own IPs. Two years later, in 1997, Hasbro Interactive's revenue grew 145%. They went from 35 million to 86 million with this growth. They went on to purchase two indie developers, Microfoes for 70 million, Avalon Hill for 6 million. And with that purchase of Avalon Hill, they had gotten over 300 titles, which increased revenue even more by 127%. When the infamous dot-com bubble finally burst in mid-2000s, Hasbro's share price went down 70%, and they had recorded the first loss in over two decades. Faced with this, Hasbro sold 100% of Hasbro Interactive to French developer Infogames, thus renaming Hasbro Interactive to Infocom Interactive and giving Infocom all rights to develop any games using Hasbro's property. On May of 2003, Infocom Interactive merged with Atari Interactive, and all the old assets from Infocom Interactive went to Atari Interactive. And two years later, in June of 2005, Hasbro bought back all of the assets from IESA for $65 million with a 10-year deal to create games based on Monopoly and all their other games. Also, part of the deal was a deal with a D&D franchise to create games off their popular tabletop RPG game. Overall, Hasbro Interactive played an important role in shaping the video game industry, and its influence is still felt today. Its innovative, entertaining games continue to provide joy and entertainment to games around the world, and will always be remembered as a key player in the golden age of video games. Do you remember any games you played by Hasbro Interactive? Let me know in the comments. With that, don't forget to button mash that like button, ring that bell, and smash that subscribe button so you get the heads up on my next video. I am Professor Retro saying class is dismissed and peace out and stay frosty.